Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will be showing you how I made this Tiger's Eye inspired resin piece. To get started, um, I'll just give you a brief overview of all the supplies I used in this piece. I will link everything in the description box below so that you can just click on the links and go right to it. Um, I used art resin and then just assorted paints and pigments and some crushed shells and glass. To get started, I mixed my pigments in with my resin and added a dash of silicone to each color. And then I just started pouring in linear rows across um, the circle panel that I'm using. I started with brown and then I kind of went in um, color order so I would do the shades that kind of transitioned nicely into each other. And I just alternated pouring those across um, the panel adding in uh, different colors as I went. And you can see here that I'm just kind of doing the same thing on either side. Um, if I pour a stripe of gold on one side, I pour it on the other. Um, you can see there are little bubbles popping up in the resin. That's because I added a couple drops of silicone oil to each color that I used. When you use the heat gun on that, it kind of brings out the texture, it kind of feathers and creates some cells in it. It has a really cool effect to it that I like a lot in my resin pieces. So here I'm just going back in and adding more, um, some more of the black and the gold to really define those sections a little bit since with the silicone oil they blend together and um, just going back in with those darker colors helps to make it a little bolder. It gives it more definition, which I like. Um, in the long run, it really dries different. There's no predicting how it's going to work out with resin art, but um, to start with, I like to add that definition. So here I'm just finishing up this layer. I'm adding a few extra stripes of those colors um, so that as they blend together, it'll have more of a gradient. And now I'm just covering the sides because I don't like to have the bare wood show through. Um, it's just a personal preference thing. I like when my artwork carries over onto the sides. Some people will um, tape that part off so that they can paint it a solid color. I tape off the back of my panels, but I like to have the resin drips cover the sides. I think it just, it looks nice to me and it's just a personal preference thing. So I just went over with the heat gun and you can see um, how everything's feathered out a little bit. And now I'm just adding in my crushed shells and my stones. Um, I didn't really do anything crazy with the placement on this one. It is just like a, a line of each um, over top of that colored resin. So here I am just about done with this layer. I'm gonna go back and just make sure every bit of resin that I wanted to use was on here, adding more little lines so that it'll have that texture when it dries. Just some finishing touches. So then I'm going to go over it with the heat gun one final time, just make sure that everything has been touched so there are no more bubbles in the resin. And then I am about done with this layer. I just have to wait um, for it to dry. So I let it sit overnight. And once it was dry, this was the result that I got, which I liked. It just wasn't the colors that I wanted to add a little more warmth so I went ahead and did a second layer. I mixed my resin the same way. I just added some red and copper to it. So I am doing the same technique for this layer. Um, I'm just planning out where I want those colors to go instead of following the same pattern from the first layer. And then I take my clear resin and I pour it over the sections um, from the first pour that I want to keep. So anything that I want to be visible, you can see me doing that with the popsicle stick here. Um, that way those colors will show through and everything will kind of create like a, a depth to the piece. So here I'm just blending it with that heat gun. You can see as those colors morph together. Um, and once I show the final piece, you'll be able to see where those clear parts showed through. But here I'm just doing the same thing as the first one, adding those extra lines, making sure I have all the colors I want. Um, just, you know, going over and adding that copper tone to make it look more like the stones. So I'm just repeating the same technique, I'm drizzling on the thin lines of color and blending everything with my heat gun. Um, I really like the way the silicone oil creates those shapes and that texture in there. Um, and I'm just adding my final touches and then I am done with this layer.
Well, then I just let this piece sit and dry. It takes about 72 hours to cure completely for art resin. And here is the final piece, which I am really proud of. Like I said, it was inspired by Tiger's Eye Stones. Um, it's obviously not exact, but that's the fun part about art. As always, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. You can also check me out on social media as at Samantha's Doodles. My Etsy is Sam's Little Shop. I'll link everything in the description box if you're interested. Thank you again, and I will be back next time.